What's up with that? Always foggy. Try a new trick and it's foggy. I guess it's a lotion on my hands. But anyways, it is 11.07. I gave myself to bed. Took a shower. I uh, have a morning client tomorrow morning. Yeah, today was... I didn't do anything. I stayed home after my client. I slept. I was feeling like I was getting sick, so I stayed home. I said, I'm not going to push it because I have a tendency to push it. So I've been really restraining myself and not feeling, trying not to feel bad about it, you know, like I'm going to lose results or whatever. And because I always push the limit too much in terms of frequency if I feel sick or whatever. So I'm going tomorrow for sure, but I have three clients. One client never contacted me. It's like he hasn't been keeping up with his follow-ups, you know, what he does on his own and stuff. And the other guy um, is coming back from Cuba. So who knows? I expect him to come, but the one who hasn't been following up, you know, he hasn't followed up, so I, what time is he supposed to come at, 10? If I'm there, I'm there. If I'm not, you know, whatever, because, like, that's, that's disrespectful, you know. I don't care what, you, you have to be dead, you know, if you're not contacting me and letting me know. There might be something wrong, but, you know, I gotta have my boundaries, you know what I mean? So... But we'll see what happens. This is the one that I was bitching about several videos ago, um, if you follow my videos. So it's always, a, it's always a problem with this guy. So fuck that. So um, hopefully I'll be good tomorrow. But. Today I wasn't good, there was, I'm uh, not getting any answers from Couchsurfing, but you know what, Couchsurfing is like, all the profiles, like, people log in like three years ago, two years ago, no one, not many people are recent, it's like, weird, so I don't expect any, uh, communication, you know, but, and, uh, Mr. Chicago didn't contact me. He contacted me yesterday, but today he didn't. And then I decided to send him a text. He could be sleeping. But this the problem is that it bothers me. All this shit bothers me. That's the problem. And the reason all this shit bothers me is because I have nothing else going. When it, when it rains, it pours, you know what I mean? And I see that as a bad thing. So it's like I got contact from nobody and I'm, you know, feeling rejected big time. So, obviously it's in my head. <sighs> you know? So that is the situation and I didn't work out. I'm not overly tired. I'm tired. I'm going to bed now, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, and it's like that often that sometimes you have nothing and sometimes you have too much. And that's the same thing with the training, personal training business, you know, and I've been doing that for decades, so. It's just like now it seems to affect me more because I have no idea where my life is going, you know? But I'll be honest, I was exactly like that at 20, you know? So I can't say that it's any different. It's a different phase, but it's the same reaction and, you know, the depression was there, everything was there. Not knowing where to go, and it took a few years. You know, a good six years. Even more. 
that's what bothers me because I know it takes so long. Um, and you would think that because I've had so much, I've done so much, that it would be easier. And it's not. That's what bothers me. Um, so, oh, water. Let me fill up my water bottle. So I, you know, some things I'm demotivated to do, and that's a problem too. Um, once the momentum gets there, then I'm very motivated, but I have to see, uh, I have to see it, you know what I mean? Once I see it, not everyone else has to see it, but I have to see it, you know? Then I'm gung-ho. That's the only way I can get motivated. That being said, what do I have? I have my working out. That's what I had to fall back on when I was uh, young too. When I first moved out. Oh, that's right. I was 27. And I uh, moved with a guy I was dating and it didn't work out and I didn't have a job and yada 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 then I got with a job search club and I found a job and hmm <sighs> so I have to go back into my memories you know because it's the same same thing same thing nothing has really changed so why would I let that bother me if that's the way it goes. You know, I'm at the point where I'm at, you know, and I can't change that. All I can do is just <clears throat> do what I can do one step at a time. And not close down, not shut down, you know. So that being said, you know, I'm still kicking it with the YouTube. What's really motivating is, um, I should have done a separate video, but uh, McJuggernauts, McJuggernauts, the uh, channel, <clears throat> he was in the same situation. He, he uh, did a very nice motivating uh, video um, about how he's been at it for eight years and it wasn't until the sixth year. Well, he's been at it for ten years, sorry, it was the ten year anniversary, and after the eighth year, things blew up. So, it's good to know that people are giving their uh, versions or their own testimonials. Um, but what if YouTube isn't around in another uh, eight years? You know, people get big faster. Um, I'm just trying to build something, build a community, do what I love to do, and then build upon that. Um, you know, that's that's why a lot of people are on YouTube. Um, I'd like to add to this channel, see where it kind of goes, uh, but not yet, because if I don't have I'd like to see the child grow a bit and then bring it to the next step, offer something else, you know, something new. Maybe it's the wrong way to see it, you know, maybe I should do it all glammy. No. No, because people don't see it, but sometimes it, like, it catches on, but that's not where I'm at, you know. Um, I'd rather do daily, one or two times a day videos. Um, hopefully the content will get better, hopefully, 
I will get better. As I get better, it will show that I get better, and that will be more motivating. That's kind of how I see this. Um, I'm not trying to teach you anything. I'm just trying to show you. Oh, people are coming in. I hear the elevator. I'm trying to show you what I'm going through, you know, and just try to work it out while I document it. Not say that I've been there and I'll teach you how to do it. No, I'm going through it now. So. And it might be the same even when the channel gets bigger, you know, so that's to find out. That's to wait and see. So, getting my content better, getting my voice better, getting my, the whole value without actually changing the, the structure of the way I do the videos. You know, that could help for this in the meantime. Then eventually I can get like a nice lamp and then I can set up a little part of my bedroom. That's what I'd like to do. Um, set up part of my bedroom as the studio where I sit down as opposed to just this whole uh, standing up, placing on the TV type thing. Like if I set up this place again, because... Okay, I have a <laughs> I have a messy couch there. It came when I bought the condo. It came with it. But let's say I set up um Ah, you see? I could set this up like people sit on their couch. Right? I could clean this shit up, right? I just put it there because no one sees it except me, and I have to deal with certain things. Um, but I could have my lamps and stuff here, like a lamp, and then place it like there. And then the camera will be... Obviously I can't have it where my messy bed is, but... The reason I don't have the sofa here is because it took a lot of space away from my closet, my filing cabinet and stuff, and I like to have a place to walk in. So, but I would like to actually, see, I have a blank wall here. This would be nice, wouldn't it? Let me see. Yeah, I could do a lot of my stuff standing up here, have my camera here on a tripod, and then the light shining on me. And then sometimes do it on the couch. And then I could put a green screen here. Yeah. So it goes right in the camera view. Even if I'm right by the bed is, I could keep it up like this. So it's on me. Yeah. Then I could put a green screen there. Or paint the... <laughs> paint, the paint the wall green. No, I'd probably put a green screen there. And then I could, f you know, put different backgrounds. I like that. What do you guys think? Ten subscribers. Um, with a new one who saw my latest video. And he was the only one who saw it. But then he... His, his channel kind of exploded. And I'm like, wow. He has about 400, 500 subscribers. But the views started picking up. I'm like, oh. With his thumbnails picking up. So... I'm inspired. And I know it's one step at a time. And if you don't think about it, you just do. You'll be fine. You know. Um... But I like this. Use this as my... I do have... I'm going to change this too. This is my uh, closet. <laughs> I broke the door. But it's the closet uh, 
drapes. And this isn't bad either. See? Well, let's see. Fix that a bit. It's a different background. How do you think I, how do you think I look on that? But then the lamp would be just right here. Unless you, um, I have a flash that comes up here. Let me see. Let me bring it with me here. I have a flash. How do I... Let me not break anything. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, there's a button. Okay, press the button. I have a flash here, but I don't think that flash is for... It's just for taking pictures, right? So the lamp I couldn't put there. I would have to put the lamp on the tripod. Well, I have a place for the tripod. Underneath is a screw. Can't show it to you. Uh, and then the lamp. I don't know. I'll have to look that up on Google. Anyways, this is good. When my brain starts going like this and things seem possible, then I'm happy. Um, and I realize, like my MB Alec, that I'm different than other people. Um... And I don't get along with that many people. And a lot of things I have to kind of do by myself. I'm good in a leadership position. But, you know, directing people. And I do it in a very, you know, not, not like a, a drill sergeant type thing. I like people to kind of do what they do. Um, and bring out their strengths, but I have to be in charge because I can't find people who want to work with me to build something, so I realize I have to build something on my own, and then that's a whole different story, that's the story of my life, right? So, that being said, we'll see what happens in the next little bit. I might get myself a tripod and just put the camera there and then kind of talk to it, you know? Um, it, it, it would even look nice when I come in. It'd be like, okay, this is the studio, you know? Little section that people have. They have their own little corner where they do their filming. Um, if I could somehow put it here too, but probably not. It would probably have to be in that corner if I want to get the couch part. Then I'd have to cover up my mistake, which is these mirrors. <laughs> that I wanted to do the whole wall with these sticky mirrors that I got at the dollar store. And then they kind of fell off and I didn't get them that right. And... I was like, no, this is too much. So I could probably put green screen. No, I wouldn't put the green screen there. I would put the green screen here. Yeah, the simplest thing. And then remove all this crap that's on the floor, which isn't that bad. And then possibly have another different background here. So let me know what you think.